What is up YouTube? I am James the Movie Critic and apparently it's trailer season because I can't sleep without Warner Brothers dropping another amazing trailer on our heads. Listen, before we get into this trailer, let me just say, I have been saying from the beginning that Robert Pattinson has the potential to be the greatest Batman we've seen on the silver screen. Why do I say that? Because Bruce Wayne is more complicated than most people think. He has two personalities outside of Batman. Most people think it's just Batman and Bruce Wayne, but within Bruce Wayne, you have the filthy rich billionaire playboy that is like a frat guy who loves the party, which is a front to mislead you from Bruce actually being Batman. And then you have the real Bruce Wayne, who is this super emotional on the hinge of a psychological break because as a 10 year old, he saw his parents murdered right in front of his face. So when Robert Pattinson nails Bruce Wayne, which I think he will, it'll be because he plays both characters very well. And people love to talk about Christian Bale's Bruce Wayne and Batman. But while his Batman was good, his Bruce Wayne did fall flat for me because he only portrayed the drunk, frat boy partying Bruce Wayne and not the psychologically tormented Bruce Wayne that is really the true core of who he is. So let's hop in. All right, let's do it. Is that scotch tape? It is scotch tape. No more lies. Huh, who is the villain of this movie? I don't think I've heard anything about a villain. From your secret friend. Who? Oh, he's supposed to be Commissioner Gordon, nice. Having a clue. Let's play a game. Oh, is this the Riddler? Oh, it's a green emblem. That has to be the Riddler. Oh, Batman's on the crime scene. Okay, so this isn't like his origin story. That's nice. You're becoming quite a celebrity. Oh. Wow. Why is he writing to you? Oh, I forgot they're gonna have Catwoman in this too. Um, Zoe Kravitz is playing her. If you are justice. Are those Joker minions? Please do not lie. What is the price for your blind eye? Hmm. The hell are you supposed to be? Yes! Yes! Woo! Yes, I'm vengeance. Oh, the Batmobile looks sick. Okay, so at least he can fight. I appreciate that. Yes. You were part of this too. How am I part of this? You'll see. Oh yeah, those are question marks. It's definitely the Riddler, for sure. I told y'all. I told y'all. You cannot tell me that that trailer does not look amazing. I knew Robert Pattinson would deliver, and he did. First of all, the I Am Vengeance line, if you watch the original Batman the Animated Series, you know I Am Vengeance. I Am the Knight. I Am Batman. I wonder if he's gonna say the whole thing or just that, but either way, I appreciate the nod. I liked when Robert Pattinson spoke that he wasn't making his voice all crazy. Again, most people loved Christian Bale's Batman and it was the best at its time, but I don't need a whole bunch of I'm Batman gargling with rocks and pebbles stuff. I don't even, you never hear that in the Batman movies, shows or comics. Um, only Christian Bale did that, which was cool, but I'm okay with a regular talking Batman. Maybe a voice changer to make it deeper, if anything. I love a Batman who can brawl. I think for me, Christian Bale's Batman, again, Nolan wrote a good Batman series. Let's just get that out of the way. The reason why people like Nolan's Batman series because it's a realistic, what would happen if someone became Batman type of movie. However, Christian Bale's fight scenes were always bad because the suit 
prevented him from turning his neck and moving. They talk about it in a lot of the behind the scenes. And so I actually appreciated that about Ben Affleck's Batman, though I didn't like his stories and the whole Martha thing. I have a good feeling I'm gonna love the fight style from Robert Pattinson. I'm pretty sure that the villain is the Riddler just based off the question marks at the end there. I had no idea because I wasn't sure if there was a villain announced. I knew Catwoman would be in it, but I didn't know if it was gonna be a Mr. Freeze thing. I assumed that they would leave Joker alone just because we haven't seen a really good Joker in a long time, even though people keep making Joker movies. Honestly, this is everything I've ever wanted from a Batman movie. It's a dark thriller that kind of gives you that noir kind of look, but it's still grounded. It doesn't seem fanciful because even though Superman, Wonder Woman, all of the heroes in DC are basically gods, Batman is supposed to be grounded and he's supposed to balance out that scale of superheroes in the DC world. But I love the Riddler. I know there are some people who are like, eh, James, I don't want another Riddler because Jim Carrey wasn't that good. But if you watch the TV show Gotham, which most people have problems with, get out of season one. Because season one, it does have a few growing pains like most shows, but once season two hits, you get to see the development of so many supervillains that we know from Batman's world, like the Penguin, Riddler, even Bane. And one of my favorites was the Riddler. I appreciated how serious they made his character and how they justified both his intelligence and his psychosis at the same time. The actor who portrayed Riddler in Gotham, which was Corey Michael Smith, did amazing. And in the show, it was because he didn't believe people when they spoke to him. He was so intelligent, even when someone actually fell in love with him, he began to have doubts. He felt like they were lying to him. So in the beginning of the trailer, when it says no more lies, I almost thought, hey, that could be Riddler. He thought everyone was lying to him. And so for him, every personality seemed to be a riddle that needed to be solved. So those are my thoughts on the new Batman trailer. Don't forget to like the video and comment below what were your thoughts on the trailer and subscribe to the channel. All right, see you next time.